Legend of Total War here with part 4 of my uh, Stainless Steel 6.4 Pure Hearted Crusader States campaign. On the last episode, I conquered Damascus and Adana and have since, I suppose, been turtling, waiting for someone to declare war on me. There's a rebel region all the way down. I suppose both of these are rebel regions, but they're too far away for me to really bother to go get. I need to protect my borders because I don't have a very strong military. But luckily, my enemies aren't that strong just yet. If we look at the faction rating, We've gone up, but if we have a look at the Turks and Fatimids, both of them are higher than me. But that's not really anything that is of a major concern just yet. Okay, now I think I've built everything that I can. We just need to move on to the next turn. Hang okay, on, what do we got here? They're definitely planning something. Here they come. It's time to bring my king back here. Well, actually, he's kind of old. So maybe I should bring the faction heir to... Because he's got the holy lance. We don't want to lose that, but um, just don't put him in danger then. He's got a decent amount of command. Plus, if he fights a lot of battles and releases prisoners, he'll get lots of chivalry. He'll be a better uh, governor after that. Sure, whatever. And the Turks are coming down here as well. Okay, so they're both coordinating an attack. Well, that's annoying. That's going to require a bit of a bit of thought. I think personally that it would be better to get rid of the Fatimids because if you get rid of the uh, the Turks, not only are they stronger, but then you're just up against Byzantines up here and Cumans up here and Quaresmians over here. Whereas there's nothing really over here. We can lock off a frontier. So let's see, what are we going to do about this? Well, we've got two Templar Knights here, so anything they attack with, they better bloody really bring it. If they're going to try anything tough on me. Plus we've got more of these coming in, more Knights Templars. And they only take eight turns to recruit now, so that's that's even better. Um, could get more of those, they're free upkeep. Obviously it costs a bit, but got to defend the border. Okay, I want you to just... Oh, they've gone and taken Hejaz. You come stay here. Alright, so, did this grow? Not yet, so you need to stay here for another turn. All these other motherfuckers, let's see. Right, we've got this bastard coming in over this way. I'm going to leave the army here, but I'm going to take... I'm going to take you. You're going to command the army down south, if you can get there in time. take these Armenian infantry with us. Actually, bring them up north. Because Tortosa is a bit more under control now. Still can't recruit any free upkeep units. So let's see here. What should we build? Maybe build a grain exchange or there's a brothel here which is fine. That'll provide us with a bit of happiness and grow the settlement a bit faster. Because the trade that bonus we get from this is Absolutely abysmal. So yeah, go with yeah, go with that. Still not ready to grow yet. Antioch could probably use a bit more of a garrison. We absolutely do not want to lose that settlement. Okay, so if we built this, that would provide us with a l not enough in extra income to justify it. Go with that. Okay, at least we're able to finance all buildings at the moment. Where are we going to put you? Maybe in Aleppo after this has all been built off and shit. Um, yeah, get some Syrian auxiliaries. Sure, why not? And from here as well. Could probably use a few more troops. If we're going to go up against these motherfuckers. Okay, hang on. We've got... That could be useful. Build it after this port. Spear militia aren't the best, but they're better than nothing. Okay, everything's building. Let's move on to the next turn. 
Adana just finished upgrading. Okay, the Fatimids didn't attack. The Seljuks did not attack. That better not have been my priest that just turned into a heretic. Okay, another general. I'll accept that. Basically, free soldiers. I think he just showed up here. Crusader State faction here, maybe. Whatever. Oh, let's see. Jeez. Low chances of bloody getting that guy. Getting rid of him. Oh, well, we'll just have to wait him out until he dies of old age. Mission failed. Yeah, I was never gonna. That was impossible to succeed. We couldn't have got him there in time. That was ridiculous, you fuck. Okay, Aleppo ready to upgrade. Very good. And now that this has been upgraded, we should try to focus on growing it as quickly as possible to get to just a regular castle. The way to do that is focus on getting our, the. Uh, Population growth buildings first. Now you're gonna to need to leave. What settlement do we really need to grow now? What house tortoise are going? I think it could really use some growth. We're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel there in regard to buildings. So good, he drastically increases the income. What's this? Oh, there. Son of a bitch standing there. That's okay, we'll just go around him. I think he's trying to get to Antioch. One time, wherever he wants to go, if he wants to start a war, bloody bring it on, I'm ready for it. Could use a conquest or two. Man, this is more than a full stack here. What have we got available? Look at his jack shit. Gotta get our shit into gear. So what do we got available here? Templar sergeants, okay what about mounted sergeants? Um, personally I would prefer cavalry. Though it could be a little bit late. We got motherfuckers coming over here. They're clearly planning an attack. There's no doubt in my mind. Okay, if I can send these guys down south as well to help out, that could be good. They don't need to stay there, because 410 for an upkeep unit, forget that. For a garrison unit, I meant. Okay, Edessa. Here we go in here. Probably need a bit more garrison. Oh shit, we're out of money. Okay, the threat of war is now putting us on edge. Okay, we just need to deal with it. Everything's mostly Catholic, so that's good. Let's move on to the next turn. Yep. Here we go. War starts. The enemy lays siege. We will hold them back. Those, those armies, they got even bigger. What... Can they recruit more men into the armies, or did they merge it from Gaza or something? How the fuck did they get so many men so quickly? And they're blockading my port. This is going to cost me a lot of money, this war. But, if we can get some settlements out of them, that'd be even good. Might even call a crusade. Okay, the Turks didn't declare war yet, but they're just ran, running through my lands like they fucking own the place. No. Send emissary to the papal states. Fuck off. I can't get anyone there. It's so far away. Alright then, let's see. So if we put a crusade on Cairo, do you reckon we can get there? We can try. Holy Bible may preach peace, but when it is Christendom itself that is threatened, 
then it is every Christian's duty to defend all that is holy. His Holiness the Pope has called a crusade to reclaim the Holy Lands from the infidel, who would deny Christian pilgrims their right to visit the holy places. It is time for the armies of Christendom to put aside their differences and unite under one banner, the sign of the cross, and give back God's children what is rightfully theirs, or die trying. All right then, we need to get a crusade going. So, where did I put? Okay, you don't really need to go on crusade. This guy does. So he's gonna need an army. And then we'll be able to hire mercenaries as well because all these guys on free upkeep, I'm pretty sure it doesn't cost anything to join the crusade. We just need to get him some units. Got plenty of guys here, nothing else that can be recruited. Depends what, what we're up against here. Looks like a lot of shit. There's no generals. They've got a lot of desert cav. That there. We could be facing the possibility that Kerak might might fall. We do have a general. Maybe I should send some reinforcements. I think what would be a better idea is if we threatened Gaza. Because Gaza is actually a better city. And then maybe... Well, we need to get to uh, Cairo. Alright, so I want you to stand here, and let's get these guys together. So three Templar Knights, that's good. No archers. Plenty of foot knights, plenty of this shit. Okay, let's join the crusade. Good, doesn't cost me any money to do that. And we've got access to new mercenaries here, but these guys are absolute dog shit. Bonus fighting cavalry, huh? Hang on, we've got horse archers here. Turkopol cavalry, I'll go grab some of those. Religious fanatics, sure, why not? And we've got a full stack. Now, what should we do? Should we take these guys out here first? I think so. If they want to attack, that's fine. But obviously they need to besiege the settlement for a turn. What I might do is actually just train a spy here so they don't sneak in. So we'll liberate Kerak. But we can't pursue them any f Oh, hang on. We might be able to if we just send the guards too late. Fuck up there. That's okay. They're not going anywhere. We'll hit them next turn. And... Financially, that's all good, because this is making them all free upkeep now. Right, th okay. Of course, we've left Jerusalem completely undefended, but that's okay. Now, we've got another army over here. Which we could put on, G on Crusade. I mean, it looks like this guy's coming in for blood. I think we're going to need to recruit as much as we can. Good, nice, some nice Templar there. They'll join the Crusade if need be. Okay, buildings over here. Let's get that going. Peter the Hermit. Oh yeah, that's that's actually a pretty good pretty good useful unit if you're a governor. You're 54 as well. You're an old piece of shit. We need to give the Holy Lands over to someone else soon. How old are you? 27. King of Jerusalem. Right. You'd actually... He's got a lot of dread, so he could actually be quite useful. It's just that you're old. Alright, next time I might switch him in. Get him to command, because yeah, you're old. I might leave you in Kerak. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Oh, here they come. That's okay, I can deal with this, I think. Alright, so balance of power is slightly against me. 
Up against mostly infantry, there's no general amongst them though, so this really shouldn't be a problem. It should actually be quite easy. Only problem is we've got to be fucking honorable. So we need to absolutely smash these guys. Or else we're in serious trouble, because they've still got another full stack. Alright, let's see. I need to just reorganize this quickly. That's better. Okay, I'm going to keep you back. We definitely can't afford to lose... Well, we can actually. No, 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 because you got the Holy Lance. So we don't want to lose you. Um, keep these guys together over here. Actually, no. You stay over there. We'll, we'll separate. We'll, uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. Uh, you guys... Keep them on the front line. And these guys in the back. You got stakes? Who's got stakes? No one? I meant like, you know, stakes is in a piece of meat, not fucking wooden stakes. What do we need those for? The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Okay, we're able to shoot them already. Okay, you, I want you to go in there, try and get rid of their desert cavalry. Because what we're going to do, as soon as we get into combat with these motherfuckers, just smash their flanks in and try and capture the whole lot of them. Of course, capturing them is, is not going to kill them, but it's really just about just defeating them, because that other army could make it over here soon. I don't want to take many casualties, because don't forget, this army is mostly shit. before we charge in. Looks like you guys have gotten a few kills. Killed quite a few of those desert cavalry, that's good to see. Certainly helps that we're on the high ground. Yeah, aim down at these guys. Alright, let's go. You guys go around that flank. Don't skirmish. They're already shaken. Okay, come over here, smash him. Look at these guys, They're bloody useless. Okay, you can now stop shooting, same with you. Catch the enemy and kill them. Well, capture them, whatever. How are we going? Did we break them? Come on, get rid of these desert archers. What are you doing over there? Don't worry about them. I'll send the Turkmans to go catch them. Come on, you slow piece of crap. Got to smash into the back of these guys. How are we going? We've already lost 12%, but they've lost 25%. They probably should have waited for their reinforcements. Who's the fucking general? We need to kill that bastard. Good, looks like we've got a few broken units over here. Good to see. You stay back, I don't want you dying. You frail old man. The enemy is badly blotted. They have lost half their men. I can hardly tell who's who. Yeah, our guys are kicking their ass. Here we go in now. Oh yes, absolutely smashed him. Didn't lose too many cavalry either. Now I want to capture as many of them as possible so that we can get as much chivalry as possible from releasing them. Because that'll certainly help. Okay, it looks like this first army is pretty much broken. Let's keep chasing after them. Alright, so infantry. Let's get set up again, wait for them to get over here. 
up on the high ground certainly helps. Actually, I'm just thinking, if we shoot these guys, then they're dead. So it's just better to shoot them than to run them down. Because we've already got 900 men that we're bloody releasing. Hang on, you haven't finished with them yet. These guys get behind them over here. He's shooting you. Oh, the desert cap. Okay, don't worry about them. I'm going to send the Turkomans over there. Turkopol, sorry. Uh, to go finish them off. The enemy flees the battle. Okay, Run first army dead. What's this? Alright. Okay, I want you to fire at will. Shoot down at these motherfuckers. Fuck it, run into them. Don't want them shooting us. Good. Okay, you need to come back over here. Shoot them. Okay, we've run out of ammunition with them, so it's time to break the whole army. Templars, absolutely smash them. Come on, get back over here. Good. Don't forget to use up your ammunition before I run the rest of them down. It would be better if you shot the desert archers, I think. Thing is, we actually killed so many of the enemy that we probably annihilated both of them if we were to execute them. But of course we're being pure-hearted, so that's not going to happen. Let's run them down. We've used up our ammunition. So we lost 17% of our army on this, most of which were just these garbage units there. So if that other full stack makes it over here, hopefully we can beat them. Captured 1,500 of, 1,600 of these guys. Well, that's a heroic victory, alright. So we lost 15% actually. So men lost 357. Still, we managed to kill 1,275. So those are units they're not getting back. And at least I did manage to recover some of my men. Yes. There you go. I hope you fucking appreciate it, bitch. Oh, they're besieging Jerusalem. We need to. St we can't let them take that. That would be very bad. Very bad Muslims. Let's go kill them. Or defeat them, whichever. I'm glad the Turks haven't gotten involved yet. Bloody five thousand dollars worth of five thousand florins worth of troops just fucking sent right back. I'll have to deal with them again. But at least we've got free upkeep on these guys. Whatever. Crusade grows. Good. So everyone's just declared war on the Fatimids. But I want to get to the into it first. Okay, so we just need to merge everything that we can. Good. Get him off the Crusade, then back on it. Because otherwise there's always a risk of them. Um what's it called? Defecting. I wouldn't really call that an exploit because before 10 turns they really shouldn't be defecting anyway. Because we are working our way towards Cairo. I mean it's sometimes ridiculous, like you would be on the second turn of a crusade and you lose bloody two or three of your units. No 
Okay, so what have we got up against here? It's slightly bigger than the previous army, but it's nothing to be too concerned about, I think. I mean, they don't have a general there. We can get some more pilgrims. So all of those guys, they're sitting there. They can't... Well, actually, they will be able to move. I would like to go and kill them instead. But if we don't if we don't get there right now, they'll move onto the city and they they could sack it, and do irreparable. Well, they can repair it, but they'll do damage to the city that I really don't want to have. Uh, what the hell is this? Bloody rebels! Can't they just go somewhere else? What the fuck do these Turks think they're doing? Can't they just go somewhere else? I'm busy. I really don't want to be at war with both of them at the same time. We did have a bit of quite a bit of money coming in through it, though. Uh, let's see. So didn't I say we were going to get you to join the crusade? Okay, and you're going to now command the battle. Command everyone. Because this guy's too old. I'm going to give him all of your good traits. Peter the Hermit, hopefully. Nope. Good, so a shield bearer there. Reduces morale, but that should be okay. You've got plenty of uh, command, but extra hit points will keep you alive. Ready and able. An honor. Where shall we strive? Okay, since you've now got more command, you should be able. Yep, you're up front. Very good. So this guy now, it doesn't matter if he dies. In fact, he'd make a good. Make a good governor. So it does matter if he dies, but um, we can afford it. He's now got the Holy Lance, which provides two two command. He's got a lot of piety. Okay, let's reorganize this as well. It's a bit messy. Okay, it's okay if we trespass on their land now. They declared war, giving us a reason to go over there and smash them. So, we should now be reliable, right. The Pope probably didn't appreciate me releasing them, but we have to do it. Where shall we we, we shall them. Alright then, so this army shouldn't be a problem. I mean, they're not going to have high morale, it's mostly just malicious shit. Let's go kill them. We have the now. And we just need to press the attack on these bastards. The sooner we can start taking their territories, the better. Somehow there's no sky. But whatever, that doesn't matter. It's just a bug. Okay, let's take high ground over here. And set up sort of the exact same ways we did last time, because that worked quite well heavier troops in the back so they don't take too many casualties because I don't care about these guys. Keep these guys on the flank this time and keep these guys on this flank. Now what are they going to do? Are they going to wait for me or are they going to attack? No, they're going to wait for me to move. Of course they're trying to take the high ground. Get our guys set up, make sure we're angled correctly. Alright, now do they have long range archers? I don't think they... oh they do a little bit. What I want to do is... let's see... Desert cavalry. I want to come around this side over here, shoot those desert cav. If I get too close to them, they'll shoot us. Fairly short range archers here, Toka Poles. Now they don't want any of this shit. Well, too fucking bad, this is what I want. I 
Oh good, we've started shooting their desert cav. Oh, they're actually coming for us, sending their cavalry first. Come on, my guys are on skirmish mode, so they should pull back. And then again, I'll take them off that, because these are just this missile cav themselves. He should be able to handle them all by himself. If nothing else, they'll run out of ammunition shooting him. Okay, don't bother shooting them, shoot these other desert cav. I only wish I had more bloody archers. Okay, this is gonna, gonna get deadly if we don't bloody step in. Now, I wanted them the general. No, the general's hanging back. That's this guy here. It's okay if these Armenians here die. Come on, Templars, get your shit together. They broke easily. How are we going? Six to three percent, but that's okay. We three percent of their best units, though. Fuck it. While they're moving around, let's just let's just charge at them. Let's go. Flanks as well, let's head up this way. Everyone fucking charge. Okay, all these desert cavalry heading up this way. It's fine to keep shooting them. I want them dead. Kill a couple of them, but nothing major. Oh, good, they broke. We'll shoot them all down because I don't want to have to fight them again. Good, that was heaps of them dead. There's more desert cats still to kill. Let's see if we can smash them. Okay. Also, we should try and kill their general. Smash in on them. No, you smash here. If you can kill the enemy captain, that'd be great. No, I thought I told him to. Didn't fucking do it. Doesn't matter. We're getting a bunch of them over here breaking. That's it. Get a rolling route going. Very good. Now we'll get the mass route. Yeah, you need to be over here. Shoot whoever runs away. We may not be able to kill all these fuckers, but if we can at least get some of them, it'd be good. Really like missile units. Okay, mass route ensuing, and the whole army's broken. 20% of my army, most of which were just shit losses. Well, use up your ammunition. Shoot these motherfuckers. Kill the desert archers. They can usually be a big problem. Spear militia and things like that, they don't count. Are we capturing even more than last time? Although we we absolutely fucking crushed them in this battle. It all just came down to having good heavy cavalry. If I didn't have them, this battle wouldn't have gone this well. We would have killed more of them though. More of them outright. Kurdish javelin men wouldn't mind killing them. You guys stay back, no point running them all down. Let the archers get some kills. Well, 
one over here. And shoot him. It's not a heap of kills, but it's still better than letting them let them go. Oh, that'll do. All of Christendom will be awed by our victory. We completely annihilated the army as well. Still, we killed twice as many as they did of us, but look how many of them we have to let go. This goes to show you that these Fatimids aren't that strong right now. Oh shit. <laughs> my instinct went to execute. Right, okay, so. What should we do? Should we. Which of these armies should we destroy? Probably this one here, because they can't move. They won't be able to reinforce them. If we come over here and fight them, and beat them, then all of them are dead. Get a few more pilgrims. That won't really help, though. Okay, these Knights Templar need to be retrained. Oh, shit, we can't really do that. They're on Crusade. Doesn't matter. Just try to keep him out of the fight. Don't we have a spy here? What if they can get inside? Well, let's find out. Okay. You lift the siege just for a second. Let's see if this guy will get inside. 30% chance. He's probably going to end up dead. No, you. He got inside. Didn't open the gates, though. See if we can bring in some reinforcements for next turn. It's not a whole lot. That's probably going to be a hard battle to win. Well, it's going to take a lot of... Going to get a lot of our guys killed. Because there's a lot of desert archers here. And it's got their general, who's not too bad. But overall, a victory there is, a, is definitely a good thing. And then if they come out the field again, we'll just beat them again. Okay, we're going to need the Templar Knights from... I think we're going to need to bring this whole army down south. It might mean that the Turks attack us, but we need to win at least on one front here. This is just a lot to fight. So who are we going to bring? The Afflicted? What's wrong with you? Afflicted with leprosy? Right. Might just leave you there until you die, to be honest. At least you've got some chivalry. Now take these other two guys away from you, and the rest of the army, including the Knights Templar. So you can just stay here by yourself. We're joining the Crusade. And, yes, I will hire these mercenaries, because we're going to need everything that we can get. And at Antioch, that's not where I want to go, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to take... How many spaces we got? We got two. Can we merge any of these? And take you and you into the fold as well. There's plenty of mercenaries here, but that's okay. Um, don't worry about rebels right now. We need to well, actually just push them out of the way. At least there, they're not blocking the road. So all of our armies are converging down on the uh, the Fatimids got to take their territories away from them. It's the only way we're going to win this. We can't expect to defeat them on the battlefield that much because we break. I break the army so damn easily and then we just end up releasing them. Okay, still plenty of money to build some stuff. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to have a look down here. Um, I'd actually go with... Yeah, go with school. Don't even have the money for that now. But that's okay. We should actually have... Yeah, we're getting an absolute fortune because we're not paying much military costs at the moment. Not much at all. Okay, let's move on. I reckon this is when the Turks attack. No, they didn't. Well, good. Buzz us a bit of time to bloody sort out the Fatimids. I reckon that the the, uh, the the Seljuks they will attack whilst I'm fighting the uh, 
the Fatimids. That's okay. If we can get to Cairo, that's obviously a very rich region. And those top few territories, apart from Antioch, are fairly poor. An honor. Hmm, we can do a draw out here. It doesn't really matter. We're better off fighting them inside the city because they can't escape us from there. Kingdom of Poland shows up. Someone came of age. That's good. What? Oh, that's Fatimids. I'm not the Fatimids. Right. Um, let's see here. Okay, so we're poised to, to strike here, but that could be a pretty long battle, so I'm going to take a bit of a break. Oh, look at this. We've got Sudanese tribesmen available. Yeah, who cares? Is the gate open by any chance? Oh, look at that. It's open. Fantastic. So we won't even need the battering rams. We can just pour into the city and slaughter them all. That'll save a few lives, of my guys at least. Anyway, that's the end of this video, so like and subscribe. Part 5 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.